dumpster diving. What's next in the dumpster? <laughs> the Boy Scouts changed their name to Scouting America after five years ago accepting girls. They changed their name to Scouting America. The end of an era, as the pedophiles like to call it, scouting the talent. <laughs> you know, it's really funny because conservatives, of course, everything's a culture war. And they were like, this is what happens when you let girls into bed to do. And I'm like, yeah, it, they have seen a massive drop off in their membership, much like the church. And much like the church, you have a pedophile problem. <laughs> And everybody wants to act like it's wokeness. No, it's men diddling little boys and girls. You know, it seems like the moment you get out of the city, all your problems just sort of fade away. Why don't we address the real problem in the room? I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> it feels appropriate to talk about pedophiles in a way that is old timey. It's just so funny to me that you're going to be like, you know, the actual problem is wokeness. And that is part of the problem. The other part is the 82,000 people who came forward and said they were molested and the billions of dollars they had to pay out in damages. Guys, guys. Can we be more mad about the pedophiles than the wokeness is killing the Boy Scouts? It's like the war on masculinity. Yeah, it's a war on masculinity by pedophiles. <laughs> 82,000 cases of sexual assault and all you needed to do was touch one dog and everybody would have been in an uproar. <laughs> Andrew Tate is going to come in and see this opening and start like man scouts. <laughs> <laughs> And we all know that's what Andrew Tate is really looking for, a good man. <laughs> it's funny, too, because Girl Scouts is still Girl Scouts, and I have long had an issue with Girl Scouts because I hated it and got kicked out because I wanted to do all the boys' stuff. I thought it was BS that we got to learn how to sew a patch on our little freaking skirt or whatever, our, our sash, and the guys all got to freaking learn how to start a fire in the woods and do cool stuff. And so I was always mouthing off, like, why are we baking? a chocolate cake and they're learning how to you know set a trap for an animal i do think the messaging is very strange in the girl scouts where it's like hey girls put on a little skirt go take your cookies and sell them on the corner and give a cut <laughs> to your met to the man the dads of girl scouts are literal sugar daddies because <laughs> they're buying up all the cookies and it's a competition it just feels like it, it's the wrong message to be sending our young girls. Go shake your little skirt-wearing bum-bum down on the street and sell those cookies, girls. That's how you get your approval and, and your validation. <laughs> Thank you, Sheath Underwear. I am obsessed. These little booty shorts are the cutest things you've ever seen. Sheath Underwear is our Sponsor, Ride or Die. They've been with us a long time. They have a great product for women and men. I use their bras and their undies. They have lots of different styles of undies too. They have a thong. They have regular old little undies. And I wear them for pretty much my everyday use all the time. And they are breathable. And they balance my pH. And they're so soft. And they are just luxurious. As for the men, they have boxer briefs. They've got the dual pouch system, which allows the junk to be separated from the family jewels and separated from the legs. Everything has a nice compartment. It is fantastic and comfortable and the only underwear my husband wears anymore. It's all I can get him. It's all he wants. Take it from my better half and the true consumer in this household. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use the code dumpster to get 20% off your whole order. It is Father's Day coming up, so please go out and get your man some new underwear. Lord knows he probably needs them. Go to sheathunderwear.com, use the code dumpster, and get 20% off your entire order. Link is in the description below.